Lobbyists for Big Pharma are once again at it in Washington, DC, trying to tell our elected officials that senior citizens should be paying more for their prescription drugs. Here's some backstory on the issue that uh, these big pharma lobbyists are trying to kill. There is the so-called donut hole in Medicare coverage. I'm sure we've probably all heard that term. You hear it on TV commercials and here's what it is up to $3,750 out of pocket. Most prescription drugs for senior citizens are covered under Medicare. Then after they uh, use that $3,750, they have to pay out of pocket until it hits $5,000, in which case most of them are once again covered. So that hole in the middle, uh, lawmakers had passed earlier this year, an extension and expansion actually of drug discounts for senior citizens up to 70%. So once senior citizens on Medicare hit that little donut hole, as they call it, they were getting up to a 70% discount on their prescription drugs as part of a deal negotiated between lawmakers and big pharma. Well, big pharma now wants that loophole closed and they want those discounts for senior citizens repealed, scaled back, which would mean that once the senior citizens enter that donut hole between 3750 and 5,000, no more discounts you're paying out of pocket. You're paying what the rest of the country pays, even though you're the least likely group of citizens in the country to be able to even afford paying that much. To put it in its most simple terms, big pharma is lobbying the lame duck session of Congress right now to make senior citizens pay more for prescription drugs. Many, many years ago, Pharmaceutical companies only job, their only purpose was to cure diseases, fix ailments, create new treatments and help people across the globe. Today, their only purpose is profit. That is the only thing they care about. And if it means a few more senior citizens die each year because they can't afford their medications anymore, oh well, they'll probably make up the money that was lost from those dead patients from patients who can afford to pay the full price. So big pharma is going to make more money out of it. That's why they're literally spending millions upon millions of dollars between November and December to get this discount repealed. This, I mean, we have seen disgusting conduct from big pharma, pharmaceutical companies, Pfizer, Merck, Glaxo, Johnson and Johnson, all of them. We have seen disgusting conduct. I have seen documents that would absolutely make you want to vomit. But this, this isn't just cruel. This is absolutely heartless. Pharmaceutical companies don't care if senior citizens live or die as long as they get to put a few more dollars in their pockets.